Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. It's new knife day here today. I'm uh, going to do an unboxing and I'm using this wonderful Rough Rider Reserve Barlow. This was gifted to me by everyone's good friend in the knife community, Pete from Jersey Knife Guy. Thanks again, Pete. And this wonderful slip, well, it was made and sent to me by J.O. Ventures. So thank you, John, for this wonderful slip also. They go, oh, they're just perfect. Anyway, let's get to an unboxing here. I have Mrs. Knife Delights with me. We're excited to see what's in here, aren't we? Very. If it's uh, anything close to what it looked like. What it looked like. <laughs> oh, which way do I, I guess I just want to go this way. Let's just go this way. I do. Really? I do sometimes. Yeah. <gasps> Look at the popcorn, honey. Oh, That's boy. what you was wanting, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Wanted the popcorn. Okay, let's get rid of the popcorn. Okay. Oh, let's get to the goodies down here. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. And I got this through Shepherd Hills Cutlery. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's open it up nicely here so we don't tear up the box. I like to save the boxes. We've been both waiting nice to see this. Nice brown paper. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to go any further, do we? No. <laughs> there she is. Oh, honey, what do you think of that? Oh, that is beautiful. Here, you want to hold it a minute? There you go. Anchored in Christ. Isn't that pretty? That beautiful smooth bone. Oh, wow. How wonderful. It's cold. It just came out of the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't wait. We just couldn't wait, but we wanted to get it on camera. Okay. okay, folks, we'll be giving you a review. Say bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Folks, I have two words for this knife. Stunningly beautiful. I am just awestruck by the the beauty of this knife. Um, it came to my attention in the last Shepherd Hills cutlery catalog on the back page. They show it there and it also comes in a trapper pattern. That's the only two patterns that I know that it comes in right now. I don't know if it's Shepherd Hills exclusive or not, but Wow, I was drawn to it. Not only is it a beautiful knife, but I was drawn to it because of the message. And it, the fouled anchor here actually has a couple different meanings to me. Uh, being in the Navy, uh, being a Chief Petty Officer, and eventually retiring as a Senior Chief Petty Officer, our insignia was the fouled anchor. The star on top, uh, uh, just an anchor, the fouled anchor is a Chief. One star is a senior chief, and there was, if there was two stars on there, it'd be a, a master chief. But uh, the fouled anchor, it, well, it has a, a lot of meaning to us in the Navy. The anchor stands for security and stability, while the chain symbolizes strength and flexibility. The fouled anchor reminds chief petty officers that no matter the situation, they must complete their tasks. And it was also taught to me that, well, when you have a fouled anchor, that's something you never want to have in, in real life. When you're uh, bringing up the anchor, if the anchor gets fouled with the anchor chain, wow, you've got a real mess on your hands. So it was also explained to me that the symbol of the fouled anchor means that all of us can make mistakes. None of us are mistake-free. And we always had to remember that and uh, try to help remember our to be humble and to show some humility. Well, biblically, we have anchored in Christ. And we have a very clear passage in Hebrews, Hebrews 6.19. It says, Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, be sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil. And it's talking about Christ. He's our anchor. 
Yeah. Let's just look at this knife. Excellent fit and finish. Of course, like all of these, it's a fingerprint magnet. But just excellent fit and finish on this. Have the nice shield there. And what you can't maybe tell, that's raised lettering. That is raised lettering. And it is done so well. And here on the bone, got little lines inscribed into it. And then on the pile side, it's, it's blank. But look at that natural white bone. Here's a look at the blades. There's a tang stamp. I have not put any oil on it or worked on the pivots any. Wow. Yes. Matter of fact, while we're here, let's get out some of Ken's uh, oil here. Let's just put a little drop down in there and see how we do. Wow, what a difference just a little drop of oil makes. I know that every now and then, uh, you know, the quality can be a little hit and miss on some of the case knives on their fit and finish. But I'll tell you what, those are very smooth transitions. You do not feel the pins whatsoever. And again, I just can't get over how that engraving is raised. It's not cut down into the bone. The bone's cut away, making this raised. The lettering and the pictures raised. This is an absolutely gorgeous knife. I'm almost tempted to, to order the trapper. Yeah. You don't... Uh, you don't come across knives like this that often that just, I don't know, touch you in a way. I guess that's how I could say it. Just touches me. Touches me because it reminds me of my service in the Navy. But even more than that, it, it remind, it's a constant reminder uh, in my faith. Place my faith in Christ. Remember, God is in control. And my faith has sure helped me through a lot of tough times. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick look here at this stunningly beautiful case canoe knife. Down here in the lower right-hand corner, I'll put a link to my case knives playlist down here in the center, that big round knife delight, so you can hit that if you'd like to subscribe to the channel. And down in the lower left-hand corner, well, that's just the next video that YouTube thinks you should watch. So until next time, have a very delightful day.